क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी ओ डी एंड सी ओ डी बी ओ डी इज बायो केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड एंड सी ओ डी इज केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड नो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज ऑक्सीजन डिमांड वेन एवर वी हैव सर्टन इम्प्योरिटीज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर दे डिमांड ऑक्सीजन ऑर्गेनिक इम्प्योरिटीज आर द इम्प्योरिटीज विच विल डिमांड ऑक्सीजन फॉर ऑक्सीडाइजिंग दमसेल्स एंड देर विल बी सर्टन बायोलॉजिकल बैक्टेरियाज माइक्रोब्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वायरसेज एक्सेट्रा प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर विच विल रिक्वायर ऑक्सीजन फॉर द ग्रोथ एंड फॉर द सर्वाइवल सो बोथ ऑफ देम आर नथिंग बट ऑक्सीजन डिमांड्स वी टेस्ट द बी ओ डी सैम्पल्स एंड द सी ओ डी सैम्पल्स वी फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू टू फाइंड आउट द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर और द अमाउंट ऑफ बैक्टेरिया विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बोथ बी ओ डी एंड सी ओ डी टूगेदर बी ओ डी बायो केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड एंड सी ओ डी केमिकल ऑक्सीजन डिमांड BOD is the amount of water and it is a measure of the amount of oxygen required for the biological oxidation of organic matter now what do we mean by biological oxidation biological oxidation means all the bacteria all the microbes all the microorganisms and the viruses present in the water which are taking away the oxygen so if i have a water sample with certain bacteria or any biological matter or species in it those species will take away the oxygen which is present in the water and since they are taking away the oxygen i can actually measure the amount of oxygen which is being lost and get the bod value and thus it is a measure of the amount of oxygen required by the biological matter under aerobic conditions at 20 degree celsius for a period of 5 days now why do we have aerobic conditions there are two kinds of conditions aerobic conditions and anaerobic conditions aerobic conditions are useful for aerobic bacteria anaerobic conditions are useful for anaerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria are those bacteria which need oxygen for their growth and survival anaerobic bacteria are those bacteria which do not need oxygen for their growth and survival since we are talking about oxygen demand we will talk only about those bacteria which take in oxygen in themselves so if i have a certain amount of bacteria which are taking in oxygen from the water that means they are under aerobic conditions they are under those conditions where oxygen is being provided to them and this we do at normal temperature room temperature that is 20 degree celsius the temperature is maintained because at high temperatures or low temperatures the activity of this bacteria has keep on changing and the time period is also maintained and the time period is for 5 days we calculate the water sample for 5 days that means we keep the water sample study it observe it for 5 days and later we calculate the bod value of it in 5 days how much of the bacteria took away the oxygen from it is nothing but my bod value similarly we have cod chemical oxygen demand the amount of oxygen required by organic matter in a sample of water for its oxidation by strong oxidizing agents over here we have oxidizing agents and oxidation is known as chemical oxygen demand now there are two terms over here which we need to understand the first term over here is oxidation what do we mean by oxidation oxidation is a process oxidation is a reaction in which addition of oxygen takes place for example i have zinc which is zn and then i have zinc oxide zno from zinc to zinc oxide addition of oxygen took place that means oxygen got added to the zinc and it formed a zinc oxide this entire process is known as oxidation process now there are certain oxidizing agents now what exactly are oxidizing agents oxidizing agents are those agents which will find an element and give oxygen to that element that means if i am an oxidizing agent and i have oxygen with me i will take an element and i will give away my oxygen to that element giving away oxygen from their own selves is known as oxidizing agents oxidizing agents themselves get reduced what do we mean by reduce they undergo reduction what is reduction losing of oxygen or loss of oxygen is reduction 
oxidizing agents will try to give oxygen to some other element, oxidize that another element and they themselves will get reduced. So in my chemical oxygen demand that is COD, the water sample for its oxidization, that means how much oxidation is actually happening with the help of oxidizing agents. And this entire term is known as chemical oxygen demand, which is known as COD. BOD determination requires five days for completion of experiment. The water is kept standing and still for five days. And the water is tested after five days for the value of the BOD. The COD determination is quicker as it needs only three hours. Now, why do we only provide three hours to it? Because the process of oxidation and oxidizing agents is not very slow. For aerobic bacteria, aerobic bacteria will take the oxygen which is present in the water. It will also take the food which is present in the water and it will grow. The growth of the bacteria takes time. It does not happen in a couple of hours. It needs few days to actually grow and see how much oxygen after the growth of bacteria is taking place. And thus BOD needs five days. But for COD, there is nothing to grow. We only have chemicals and these chemicals react together. These reaction of chemicals, this oxidation process by oxidizing agents takes place within a span of three hours and that is the reason why we do not need COD for days. Point number three, determination of BOD is based upon the determination of dissolved oxygen prior to and following to a five-day period. That means I will take my water sample which contains some aerobic bacteria in it. I will take that water sample and I will keep it for five days. Before keeping it for five days, I'll actually test the amount of oxygen which is present in it. And after five days also, I'll test the amount of oxygen present in it. That is the only thing. I will just test the difference between the oxygens which were prior to five days and after five days. And the difference between them will tell me the amount of oxygen which is being taken away by the bacteria. And this is my BOD value. For COD, COD is determined by refluxing the sample with known excess of K2Cr2O7 and 50% of H2SO4. We need oxidizing agents for this. Over here we only need bacteria, but over here we need oxidizing agents. And thus we just cannot keep the sample for three years. We will have to put in chemicals in it. Those are oxidizing agents and which will lead to oxidation. So those are K2Cr2O7 and 50% H2SO4. And then titrating the unreacted K2Cr2O7 with a FAS solution and then titrating the unreacted K2Cr2O7 solution against FAS solution. What is FAS? FAS is nothing but ferrous aluminum sulfate. You take this solution and you titrate it and then you find the value and that is my COD value that is chemical oxygen demand value. Point number four, for the calculation of BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand, we take DO1 minus DO2 upon X and ppm. Now what do we mean by DO? DO stands for dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen 1 means the oxygen, the amount of dissolved oxygen which was present in my sample before the 5 day test started. Before the aerobic bacteria were present in that water. Before that 5 day test we have DO1 that is the amount of dissolved oxygen present in my first sample. DO2 is the amount of dissolved oxygen present in my second sample. So DO1 minus DO2 upon X. Now what exactly is X? X is nothing but volume of sample upon total volume to which it was diluted. Now there is volume of sample and we do not take the concentrated volume of it. If we take the concentrated version of it, the aerobic bacteria will not get enough oxygen to survive and to grow. And that is the reason why we dilute it. We dilute it in pure water which contains H2O molecules. So X is nothing but volume of sample upon total volume to which it was diluted. So this becomes DO1 minus DO2 upon volume of sample upon total volume to which it was diluted. And this is denominator's denominator. So denominator's denominator goes to the numerator. Thus this will become DO1 minus DO2 into total volume to which it was diluted upon volume of sample. This is the entire calculation for my BOD and the value of BOD which I get will determine how much oxygen is being taken away and how much bacteria is present in that water sample. Calculation of COD. In COD we have V2 minus V1 
The MeToo stands for volume of FAS. FAS is ferrous aluminum sulfate solution for black titration. V1 stands for volume of FAS, again ferrous aluminum sulfate solution for sample titration. So we do V2 into V1 into N, where N stands for the normality of the FAS solution into 8 into 1000 upon V, where V is the total volume of sample which is taken for the test. And even this is measured in ppm, that is parts per million. BOD was also measured in ppm, COD is also measured in ppm. When you get this value, this is the actual value of COD. That means how much oxygen is in demand because of the chemicals present in the water. Point number five, BOD is normally less than COD because the amount of bacteria present in the water is generally less than the amount of chemicals which are present in water. But again, the word generally is used over here because it depends from water sample to water sample. COD is more than BOD as it is the measure of oxygen required for the oxidation of biologically oxidizable and biologically inert organic matter. COD talks about all kinds of organic matter BOD talks about all kinds of biological matter. So in this session, we studied about the difference between BOD and COD. BOD is biochemical oxygen demand. COD is chemical oxygen demand. We studied what both of these substances are, what are the units, how to measure them, and how are they useful in determining what kind of and what amount of impurities which are present in water. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.